Hello everybody, this is Lilla in Hawaii. Well, I finally made an Easter basket. Or is it's really an Easter nest, isn't it? Could be if you put handles on it, could be a little basket, but it is an Easter nest. And I was inspired by something I saw on Pearl and Button. Siobhan had made some lovely Easter objects there and one of them was a nest. I think it was heart shaped. Hello, Siobhan. Aloha from Hawaii. Hello from the islands. So this is my contribution to that sort of... It wasn't a challenge, but it was an inspiration. I had um, a pink doily. So I used that as the base there. So there's the doily. And I used um, that technique I'm showing where I used burlap and sewed round and round to make a nest shape. So that's that. And I used this paper, which I call blotting paper, but it's some um, thick, I think it was supposed to be wrapping paper, and it came from Daiso. So I did use that, and I tore off pieces like this, three pieces, and I put them together, as you will see I've done with the burlap in that video. I, I sort of crisscrossed them, and I did dampen them a little bit. And when I dampened them, I pushed them down into what I thought would be a sort of a nest shape and let them dry. So that's all I needed to do for that. Inside here, you can still see, there's the paper there. I put some of that pretty goldy pink tinsel that I, I had that from Christmas. Three pearl buttons. Those are the eggs. And then I took a piece of this edging crochet off an old doily and dyed it pink and that goes around there and then um, I had a paper flower that seemed to work pretty well so that goes there with a little piece of darker colored seam binding and then I also put on some other little pieces of dyed lace and then to finish it off I had a little white feather that I put there so that's that so that's my little object da and I hope you like it. I'm going to just move that. I may use it for potpourri or I may even put some trinkets of jewelry in it. I'm not sure. I definitely am not going to put a bird in there. But anyhow, I hope you enjoy that. Thank you so much for watching. Stay well. Bye-bye now.